Thank you. Um, I want to ask someone to follow up on the North Korea talks. Um, obviously, those are moving a little closer with the revelation of uh, Pompeo going over May. there. What's your confidence level or skepticism level of those talks right now, and what are realistic expectations? You know, about a month, a month and a half out from a possible meeting, what are realistic expectations? Well, let me just say that uh, I, as one of the few members of Congress who has been to Pyongyang, I did a number of years ago as a member of the Intelligence Committee, uh, it's a frightening place. Uh, that, you know, it's a, a place that is, uh, when I've seen poverty throughout America, I mean, throughout the world as an appropriator and visited the world to see our initiatives and how helpful they might be in the alleviation of poverty, the eradication of disease. When I went to North Korea, I saw a poverty of spirit that just was mind-boggling in, in many respects. And, and it's, 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 a, it's a difficult place. We were, our purpose then was to say, we want to talk about MIAs and POWs. Uh, we want you to stop uh, proliferating, uh, selling your missile technology, issues like that, checking in on the hunger situation because their people were starving. Even though their motto was self-reliance, they couldn't feed their own people. And um, so what they told us then, and so what's relevant to now is, they said, hey, we just sell these uh, uh, missile, th this technology for money. You want to buy them? We'll sell them to you. And so what my guidance from there to the current situation is uh, the capability of the North Koreans to create either the technology for, for a weapon, the uh, miniaturization of it, the capacity to launch it, and the intention to do so is something that we need to know as much about as possible. But in addition to that, they're proliferators. And this is what I keep saying to the administration. They are proliferators. So the danger is not just what they might do. The danger is who they might sell one element of that to which might be enough to uh, endanger the world e even further. So, uh, what, hopeful, any hopeful conversation. Maybe uh, Kim Jong Un is ready to change. I wouldn't be too trustworthy of <coughs> it, but certainly open to it. And uh, what would be success if at least the communication were increased uh, and there could be some way to stop uh, what could follow if if left undeterred, North Korea would continue what it's doing, which is perhaps other countries having access to the, the technology, the scientific know-how, the launch capacity, and dangerously, the intention.